Okay, so in this video, it's going to be shorter than the original one. Uh, that is the Photoshop video. This is going to be instructions on how to use Photopea to design a business card. And unlike the original assignment where you had to create three, you only have to create one. And this goes exclusively to the uh, high school classes that only have uh, Chromebooks to work with because uh, you'll have to use Photopea to be able to complete the assignment. If you have Photoshop and have already completed three um, business cards, great, awesome. Uh, if you want to learn how to uh, do it in Photopea, by all means, follow this video. It's pretty much the same process. I'm not going to use the business card template. Um, I don't know, by the time you see this video, this might already be gone because this file is actually, even though it's only 63K, it's uh, maybe too complicated or too complex a process to load up the Photopea for whatever reason. But we can create a new one just like we did with the um, with the other assignment, the uh, the, the um, poster. So let's see, I'm gonna go into Photo P and I'm gonna create a new uh, a new document. Let me close some of these extra tabs here and uh, I'm gonna open up a new one just to let you know some things and some of these things are included in the, uh, in the links in this lesson. But basically, just know that business cards have been pretty much the same size for a long time. They're supposed to fit, fit in your wallet. They're supposed to be able to fit in certain uh, items in your office. Uh, you know, the folders that you get that where you have a business card holder. Everything uh, pretty much is always the same size. So what is the business card size in inches? And I can just ask Google and it'll tell me it's three and a half by two inches. And that means it's three and a half inches across and two inches down. And you can see lots of pictures and lots of links uh, on the subject. Just know that three and a half inches by two inches is perfect for this assignment. So let's do this in Photo Photo P. I'm going to click File and New. I'm going to call this business card. I'll just call it this card just to be short and snappy this card. And I said that this was going to be 3.5, three and a half inches. It's already in inches. If it's not inches, make sure that I N is selected. And the height will be two inches. Okay, so the DPI that I have from the previous project is 100. I think that I switched this to 150. It's, uh, so it's still not, you know, not so small, but that's actually 120. That's fine. 120 DPI. I'm going to change that there, 120, and ignore the rest. Just tell it to create. White background is just fine. And it comes up like this. I'm going to press Control 0 and Control 1 just to make sure this is about as big as I want to see it. If I press Control Plus, it'll be too close. I wish that I had a better uh, control of this in Photo P, but that's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to see if maybe by closing that it'll give me more space. No. Okay, that's fine. So, business card, and I have lots of different links uh, to uh, that you can that you can examine. Um, I'm sure that maybe somewhere along the way in your in your life and school professional, you've gotten a business card from somebody. I'm gonna just search a business card sample. Lots of business card samples in this lesson. Lots of links. This card sample. And just take a look at these. And basically, they're, they're all similar. That's going to have the name of the company, the name of the person, and what they do. And then there'll be different designs, different colors, logos, etc. So I'm going to make this sample uh, or do this sample of what my business card might look like if I were to create it myself in Photopea. So here's Photo P again. I'm going to start. Uh, there is a link somewhere in this assignment as well. i show you the basic parts of a business card. I know for a fact that it needs to have my name. It needs to have my position, you know, what I do at work. It needs to have my contact information. and needs to have the, the name of the place where I work. And on top of that, it might have some illustrations. So that's four or five things that for sure you want to include in your card. If you want to say, okay, well, I said it's going to be like a work, uh, a work uh, business card, and I could go and find the, uh, the Central College logo, and I'm sure that I can find it. I've seen it plenty of times, 
but maybe this is for my own personal business, you know, as a computer type person. So I'm going to go to the same, uh, the same site that I've been using for free imaging at Pixabay, and I'm going to do a search for computer, just a computer, since I work with computers. And these are photographs, and that's fine. You know, you might be able to use them. Some of them are already spaced out. You know, this might come in handy later. This has a, a Mighty Mouse and a, and a Mac keyboard, and it's all white. Like, sort of like the Mac layout is. I uh, use Macs uh, lots of times. I'm going to refine my search though. Instead of just computer, I'm going to say computer and I'm going to add the words line art. Line art basically it's more of a drawing than just a picture. So it's going to show me some stuff that I might want to use for my business card. Maybe I want to use something like this. I kind of like this design. This is an abstract. It's in color and that's fine. But you know, I, I would tend to think more in black and white for this. I like this one with the idea. There's all these cool logos that uh, we could use. Uh, and uh, it's going to be up to you, whatever you want your design to look like. I kind of like this modern background. So I'm going to right click on it and copy that image. And while it's in the um, while it's copied, I'm going to go back to photo P and I'm going to paste edit paste and it gives me the image here so it's pretty I, I like it you know it's it gives a little bit of personality so that's a good start at least i think it is and then i go to my text tool i'm gonna see if i can get a professional looking or at least a a, a font that's readable and by that i would mean something like a it's gonna be a sans serif you know without feet uh, I want to see if can I go back and say, okay, give me the sans serif. Here's sans serif. And it gives me Able and Acme and all of these in the preview on the side. And these are all pretty cool, at least professional looking. I like this one because it's a little bit uh, scrunched. You know, it'll give me more stuff, more, more space to play with. And there's one here that's kind of computery like bungee layers. And okay, well, I mean, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna spend too much time looking for this. I kind of like this one because it's got rounded, um, round the corners. And okay, well, let's make make up my mind. I'm gonna force myself to just stop looking at all these fonts and decide that any one of these will actually be pretty cool. So how about this one, existence? It's different. I like it. So it's gonna load up and I should be able to load it up already since I'm on my text. I'm going to click somewhere with my text tool. Actually, it's loading it now. And I'm going to start by typing my name. So Francisco Rodriguez. And it's, my name has 18 letters. So I press Control A to select everything. I'm going to change the size to something more readable. And by that, I mean, I'm going to start out by typing 24 for the size. So if I were to imagine what this card would look like if it was if it were printed and i was holding it in my hand i think that this would be a fairly good enough size if i zoom in it's still too large and it's a little bit pixelated but that's fine because i'm not going for too much quality right now i know that this is a low uh low graphic so i'm not going to be too picky about it i'm going to see if i can have a larger or rather a bolder appearance to this font and I see that maybe not unicase. That should be all uppercase stencil light. Well, this is a light font. And I don't know that I particularly care for the fact that it's a light font. Let me see if I can get uh, something a little bit more, a little bit bolder than that. The next one seems to be okay. And it's got a regular and a bold. And the bold is actually, now this one is going to make more of a statement. So I can maybe even go a little bit larger from 24. I'm going to go to 30 pixels. And I think I like that. I think that this is pretty good. It's, it's fairly large, but, uh, let me deselect my selection. Should be okay. I want to see, since I already typed my name and I know that I need my position next, I'm going to right click on that layer. That's got my name. Tell it to duplicate the layer. It's going to make a copy. And I'm going to move it down. I'm pressing, I'm, I'm using the move tool and I'm pressing shift to click and move it down. 
Next, I'm going to put in my position, and here I'm going to say, well, I don't want to say I'm a computer expert or anything like that. I want to say I'm a computer user. Whatever your profession is, by all means, type it. This may not necessarily need to be bold. I'm going to go back to regular and maybe even do italic just to give it a little bit of uh, variation here and go down from 30 to 24. Notice how every time I'm making a change, the text is selected. That way it guarantees that it's going to make the change. So I have my name and my position. I'm going to make a copy of this one, duplicate the layer, and move it down with the shift key the same way. And I'm going to put in here, okay, well, so I'm computer user, and uh, I'm going to say uh, the name of my company. It's I'll say it's a work in progress, uh, WIP Industries. And uh, I'm happy with that. Now I said that the other thing that you need to have in your business cards is going to be, I'm going to make another copy there, I need to have my contact information. So it's it's not good enough that somebody knows your name, but you know how are they going to get hold of you? So somewhere, and I moved it down below here to give me a little bit of playing space, I'm going to put in my phone number, and it doesn't have to be your real phone number. As a matter of fact, I would recommend that you don't use your real phone number when making samples or assignments. Uh, I'm going to put in a 555 number, 555-555-1212. I'll press Control A to select all the text so I can change it again. I'm going to get rid of the italic, go back to regular. And with the Move tool, I'm going to move this to the right. And I think that now this font, although it's great for it to read the, the position and the name, may be a little too large for the number. So I'm going to go down to maybe 18 points, 18 pixels. And that seems to work okay. So I'll put this over here and move it over there just so that it may be even within the same text box that I'm already using. I want to make sure that this is aligned to the right. That way I don't have to find it or struggle to find it. I'm going to go to the end of that line, press enter. And then on the second line, I'll put in my email address. So I'll just put in something like contact at email dot uh, net. You know, don't use your real um, information here if you don't want to either. So this, although it's very basic, this is a working business card. It's got the information that I need. It's got my name. It's got the, what I do. Uh, it also should probably have like my address, you know, so why not? Uh, put in something there with the address as well. Find in, I'm going to find where the WIP Industries uh, layer is. I'm going to make a copy of that. Duplicate that layer as well. And just scroll down one for one more line here. And then change that text to be uh, 123 Main Street. And then the next line put in Dallas, Texas. 75202 somewhere downtown. I'm going to change this to a different type of uh, font. Go from uh, italic back to just a regular font. Maybe make this a little bit smaller. I'll stick with 18 like the other ones. And then that way that information doesn't fight too much with my main information, which is my name, what I do, and where I work. Everything else is just going to help the user or whoever's reading this card know how to get a hold of me. So this is a very basic uh, computer uh, computer business card, computer user business card. If uh, if you want to go beyond this, you know maybe you can make your own logo with uh, with your own uh, processes and Photopea. Maybe you can find uh, a logo somewhere out there. I don't know if uh, Pixabay. If I do something, a search for computer logo or any one of the other things that we saw before well that's a Linux, uh, Unix or rather a Linux uh, logo this is uh, Microsoft I don't want to say that I work for Microsoft because I don't but how about if I say hey computer logo and then use the words that I used before which was line art see what I find 
Well, there's the World Health Organization, which is an important organization. There's another logo here. I think that I saw one before with the computer line art that I like. You know, the brain here is pretty, pretty emblematic of computer use. And then there's this one that looks toward the left. There's one that looks toward the right. I'm going to stick with this one that goes to the left. I'm going to copy this, right click on it, say copy image, bring it back to photo P. I'm going to go to the very top of the uh, of the layers and paste, edit and paste. And it's quite large, so I'm going to click on transform control so that I can then drag the size down and drag the image toward the center of the uh, document where I can actually see it. Every time that I'm making changes on the size, I'm pressing and holding the shift key so that it's at the same dimensions as before and I'll stick it here in the corner double click it and uh, turn off the transform controls and now I have this business card that's got this logo that I found and then make it but maybe your company has one already or you made one for your own company it's got my contact information it's got a background it's all black and white but yours you know by all means you know if you're in a colorful mood in a colorful profession use all the color you need and you want and uh, make sure that you save as a Photoshop document you save it on your Google Drive and you turn this in to uh, I do believe this is 10.2 um, design a business design business cards you the Roosevelt class that's taking this right now in the spring of 2020 you only need to make one business card uh, good luck with that if you have any questions by all means please let me know